Those vegan guys. I thank you. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a thing was stirring, not even a mouse. Except this great big burger here, Luke. <laughs> We're having a Linda McCartney burger with salad, uh, sandwiches, vegan cheddar, onion rings, couple of dippers, and sweet potato fries done in the air fryer. Because we know we're going to be having a lot of festive fare over the next few days. So we thought, right, let's have this tonight. So burger and chips it is. Hi! I thought, as it was Christmas Day, uh, our regular subscribers should get a little bit extra. Because we're going live at Christmas on for our Christmas dinner today. There's our little setup. Look what Jason's done there with a the fancy vase. Done a good job of that, Jay. It's a feature. It is a feature. There's the, uh, the laptop, of course. And we've got uh, part steamed carrots in there with orange juice and fresh thyme. We've got very finely shredded red cabbage with cinnamon and butter. Uh, taters for mash. Sprouts steaming. I'll finish them off with... Um, uh, in this pan... When I've finished this, I'll take this out and I'll put the sprouts in with fresh sage and butter. And then in the oven, oof, oh my goodness, it's all steamed up. We've got the no turkey parcels, mini sausages, mini stuffing, roast potatoes and roast parsnips. Potatoes roasting with um, rosemary and um, parsnips with maple syrup and uh, stuffing stuffing in a bowl right there Merry Christmas everyone Merry Christmas we'll show you our dinner when it's done Oops. just about to go live my lovelies with our lovely Christmas dinner oh, my god mine looks fantastic <laughs> we'll see you soon well happy boxing day everybody uh, we're having the Sainsbury's Beef Wellington this evening uh, with a, a packet rice and a bit of salad because we can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. That's that. Glass of wine, usual husband. It's crazy late. We'll be having other stuff as well, won't we? We will be. And we've just discovered there's a whole series of naked attraction we seem to have missed because we've been obsessed with YouTube. So let's watch some willies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of trivia for you while you look at me dinner. Boxing Day is when rich people used to be kind to not so rich people. So royalty and rich people with, you know, housekeepers and maids and stuff would send home a family box the day after Christmas. Hence, Boxing Day, started by one of our queens. Can't remember who she was. 1800s. She might have been, I don't know. Victoria, one of them. Any road. Beef Wellington, rice, cucumber and tomatoes. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 27th of December 2020, welcome to our dinner. <laughs> We're having another plate, uh, but we've got a few salad items. That's from our, that cheese is from our cheese um, box from Sainsbury's with the four in. That's the Itchester Mature Melty. Uh, some olives, uh, Aldi sausage roll, sandwich with tofurkey smoked stuff. Uh, the mini porkless pie, blob of pickle lily, blob of sweet pickle, bit of stuffing, bit of uh, guac, some cucumber for me, and Sainsbury's no pork belly bites, which we haven't tried before. Even Jason's got a couple of stuffing balls because <laughs> um, I put them in the air fryer for him, so he might enjoy them. So there you go, that's our dinner on the 27th. Uh, Yet, uh, yet another kind of party play, but very enjoyable. Hope you're enjoying the festive period, everyone. There's me, husband. Finishing off the crimble bits. Yes. Yeah. In a nice, 
a buffet-style dinner. Delicious. Yeah, close up. It's rude not to really, isn't it? Look, it's the maiden flight of the drone. We've just come to a little rugby pitch, not far from where we live, to have a go. Thought I'd show you, and there might even be some drone footage right after this. A few moments later. Jason was just commenting he hadn't even looked at himself in the mirror. Until it's been Christmas. Today. I said you look fine babes. Don't worry about it. I hope you enjoyed that little view of our uh, meals for the last few days. And of course, tiny bit of drawn footage. It's very exciting. Mm. I, had a, I had a great time. A bit nippy, a bit cold. Very cold. On the old fingers, but uh, yeah, great stuff. Lots to learn with regards to the drone. Still a lot to figure out because I thought we were filming for like five, six minutes, but we only were filming for like a minute. Yeah. But there you go. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve, mm -hmm. isn't it? Um, so how are you, my loves? Have you had a good Christmas? And uh, are you at the point I'm at yet where I'm like, okay, that's probably quite enough on the <laughs> indulgence. Uh, although we have got the um, rest of the chocolate panna cotta caramel star. Yes. From Sainsbury's. Which we had a quarter of each last night. Delightful. Gorgeous. So, so good. Yeah. So, so good. Sainsbury's sweets. Whereas a lot of the other little bits that you'll have seen us buy was kind of for Christmas. Um, normally I would be like, right, we all that this week, you know, the week. Christmas week. Yeah. But um, we're going to save bits and for our regular splurge. Night. You said splurge really well then, by the way. Thanks. Getting I, better. I know, I really had to focus on it. Um, I still feel like I've got a lisp. Um, and still getting stuck on certain things. Not when I sing, though. That weird? I don't think it's that weird. I think you over-accentuate when you sing. And yeah. also, sometimes you might sing in character. Yeah. As well, which switches things up a little bit, doesn't it? But yeah, take your point. Um, it's been a f quite an indulgent few days, mm. and as I'm sure it has been for most. Yeah, I don't feel bad. No. Do you know what I mean? But I'm very aware I haven't been eating like we were. Mm hmm And I'm quite eager to get back. Yeah. To all of that kind of incorporating a lot of whole food plant-based. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, into our diet. I mean, we're still going to be covering all the kind of veganuary uh, stuff available in supermarkets. We just might not be buying a lot of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you didn't see our f video about the relaunch of the book and what we're going to be doing throughout veganuary, I'll link it up there for you because uh, it's quite an interesting See, this is why I do this, Jason. Mm -hmm. So it's clear for you to see. <laughs> um, we finished off some pastry stuff today. Had the um, No Beef Wellington from Sainsbury's. Uh, I quite liked it. You, It made you feel like the... Shroom, shroom dogs. dogs. Yeah, unfortunately, it's... Um, 
I have to be careful with stuff that's got a lot of mushroom in it. It really does. It, it, My body doesn't process it well um, and I can only put it down to that because it always I always get the same reaction to it and um, which is a shame because it actually tasted really nice the Wellington however last night the no pork belly bites from Sainsbury's which are made predominantly with jackfruit and king oyster mushrooms you were fine with yeah yeah they were great yeah so it's really weird it's really weird so I might buy, uh, try buying some King Oyster mushrooms. Yeah, what did you say last night about making it uh, with the stem? Well, you said about making bacon with the top bit. Yeah. And I said about making scallops with the That was it, stem, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're usually quite thick. That'd be a nice little um, experimentation uh, with, uh, with King Oyster mushrooms. So, And I'm not opposed to that. I'm open-minded when it comes to the mushroom. If it doesn't look or taste like a mushroom. I think, no, I, see, I think that's where the issue is. Because the shroom dogs and the beef wellington mm -hmm. are processed mushroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and when, for example, we've been to a festival and had like a vegan burger and it's had loads of black, fried black mushrooms on, been fine with it. Yeah. To be fair, when I was and I said this the other day, didn't I? Whenever you have done mushrooms here at home, and I've had some, um, I've never had a problem. It is it is the process. Yeah, um, yeah. It would seem. Um, so yeah. So that's just a, an interesting tidbit in terms of you know finding out that the Wellington uh, was similar in terms of the innards. Uh, to the old uh, shroom dogs from Sainsbury's, mm. um, but yeah, it's been it's been a nice few days. Um, you said before, didn't you? You've um, you've missed vlogging very much. Um, whereas for me, I've actually quite enjoyed just having a couple of days, uh, sort of not fully switched off from uh, from the channel, um, but switched off a little bit from it, and not feeling like um, I needed to kind of vlog, but. You're the driving force and you love vlogging, don't you? You love it. But I, even I wanted to give you guys a break and give us a break and that has been nice. Yeah. With what? Have you seen Soul? Soul. On Disney Plus. Highly recommended. So beautiful. Beautiful film. So, so <clears throat> beautiful. Animated. And meaningful. Yeah. F full of meaning and yeah you're left with important stuff at the end of it yeah about your life jamie fox your oh god is good yeah. and and others of course um but yeah that's our that's our recommendation for the week no there's another one sweet home korean horror series netflix netflix yeah um it's so good and we've just started um, I can't what it's a new Japanese horror series called Alice in Borderland. We need to let Charlotte know about that. We watched two episodes uh, last night. So good. Brilliant. It's so if you brilliant. don't mind things with subtitles, Sweet Home, Korean horror series, amazing. Mm -hmm. What we've seen so far. Alice, Alice in Borderland, Japanese horror series, really good, can't wait to smash the rest of it. Eight episodes. Um, oh, is it ten in total or eight in total? Eight in total. All right, so we've got six to go. Yeah, whereas um, Sweet Home is ten episodes, I think. That's so good though, yeah. and they've left it open. I think they'll do a second series. Uh, I hope so. So those are our recommendations for the week. Yeah. Uh, two horrors. Sorry about that. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but if you get a chance to watch Soul, please. I've just noticed uh, Leanne, Leanne and Imran are watching uh, Mad Max currently. Are they? With the, the, new, the newer one. All oh, right. With um, Charlie Theron. Oh, yeah. And Tom Hardy. It's yeah. Very good. It's good. I liked it. I fancy Tom Hardy. I was a massive fan of the original Mad Max film, so I went into the new Mad Max uh, with a little bit of a, I was like, nah, nah, nah. but yeah, it was good. Anyway, sidetracked there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so we'll get off. 
we'll leave you to uh, enjoy the rest of your break your holiday break whether that might be if you are indeed still having a holiday break yeah i know there's um a hell of a lot of people working and you know uh bless you here in the uk today is an alternative bank holiday monday mm -hmm. randomly so um for anybody in the uk um hope that you're taking full advantage of that still um yeah and we hope that you enjoy the rest of your week and we're switching our brains into a different gear slowly getting ready for going into 2021 aren't we yeah i think it's important at this point now to um i've already kind of well i'm already craving whole foods i am myself to be honest i am again so i'm like right okay you've had a bit of fun you've had some party stuff great you don't have to eat it all save it for your splurge mm -hmm. nights and start reincorporating you know your beans and your chickpeas and your uh, and get back to feeling good again mm. and and let's hit the new year running we were chatting in the car we're starting from a really bad place for a new year yeah C covid rampant it can only get better from here so maybe look at it that way yeah that's nice, nice nice approach yeah good way to look at things it's like we we are about to hit a new year like we never have most of us in our lifetimes anyway so mm. uh yeah it's uh <clears throat> it can only get better four vaccines now um whole food plant-based i'm still going to be doing that week in january mainly whole food plant-based budget yeah i think that'd be a brilliant brilliant idea i'm uh, looking forward to doing and that. more importantly i think you've got the the knowledge and the tools to be able to do a really cracking job of it yeah. and, and show people look let's bust a few myths um around um veganism being um expensive privilege you know like i mean it is if you're buying all the alternatives yeah it can be yeah but there's cheap alternatives too which we'll get to. always um yeah we'll leave it there for now uh is, have you got anything to finish with um no just the usual really um this year's been incredible in a lot of ways we know it's been um crap in a lot of other ways as well as paul has said but thank you for joining us on the ongoing journey <laughs> Um, hope you follow us into 2021 and um, please do give us a like and if you haven't subscribed that would be awesome We'd as well because it's free and it really helps us out um, and let's hit 2021 with some serious and positive intention mm -hmm. yeah um, first idea for the email campaign by the way is to hit January emailing them all and saying how much of the stuff you bring out for the January will stay because there's no point bringing it out for a month mm -hmm. that doesn't incite people to keep going absolutely you know yeah, so yeah, yeah. anyway we'll get there uh, love you mister love you mm -hmm. love you guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you again soon and until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other Damage in there. Nice.